Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having a great day. Again, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. All right, y'all. So I am back to show you what the baskets look like um, that I just designed on a video. Hopefully, you got the opportunity to watch that video. If you didn't, honey, when you get off this one, hop on over so you can see how I actually designed it and I tell you where I got everything from. So this video isn't about these. So I'm not going to go into details about that, but go over and watch the video that was just uploaded for today. Okay. Um, I guess I should have put some chapstick or something on my desk. I know I'm looking a little rough. Okay. But it is what it is. All right. I'm decent now. Okay. I don't get up here looking crazy. But um, I should have put some chapstick on my lips. But anyway, y'all, I want to tell you, show you how it turned out and tell you what I'm charging for it. Both of these are Bath & Body Works baskets, which basically have the same items. But this bigger one has about two, two more items. But guys, I'm charging $70. And you probably can't see, but I'm charging $70 for this one. All right. And I am charging $85 for this one, okay? And they both have a two-piece Bath & Body Works cider. Like I said, I'm not going through all of that. Y'all go back and watch the video, okay? Because then it'll get too long with me. And I won't get to tell everything that I want to tell about the other ones. Let me slide it back just a little bit. All right? So, I think they came out really cute. Now watch YouTube don't pick that thumbnail. They words me, y'all. They pick I sometimes I don't have time to make thumbnails. And I just let YouTube pick them sometimes. But when I say they can pick the craziest looking thumbnails. But anyway, let's put this back. So I want to show y'all something. Okay, so I had showed you guys some of the um baskets that I was working on. And I showed you guys these where you can use these tumblers and um, everything else came from, well, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, but everything else came from Pop Chef except for this candy either came from Dollar General because I got some from Dollar General and I got some from Family Dollar, okay? But, um, oh, Dollar Tree. So these two items, Pop Chef, Pop Chef. So these three items, Pop Chef, these two items and this bucket came from Dollar Tree, but these are some really, really great items, guys. Um, if you pick the right items when you go in Dollar Tree, you can make your basket look really, really elegant without people even being able to pretty much tell that it came from Dollar Tree. Unless they're just a Dollar Tree queen and king like you and I, you know, because we're in there all the time and they just know that it's a Dollar Tree item. But if you design and add different things to it, um, it won't be looked upon as if it's a Dollar Tree basket, okay? Because y'all know on social media, they clowns out those Dollar Tree baskets, okay? But it's a way that you can design where the joke will be on them, okay? You can get your items from Dollar Tree if that's what you choose. But honey, when they be laughing and joking, the joke is going to be on them because your basket is going to be so neatly designed and elegantly designed that it's not going to look like it came from the Dollar Tree, okay? So look, let me show y'all something I found today. Now y'all know I don't like to buy stuff from Dollar Tree, why? Um, Not, let me change it, cause I buy stuff from Dollar Tree all the time, okay? But I'm saying like stuff to go in my baskets, normally I don't buy them from there. Cause like, look, this big bath salt right here, I paid 50 cent for this and it's a big, big container compared to this, which this is a good size now. So if you see these, you get these, okay? Good size for 125 but i only picked it up for y'all okay i only picked it up for y'all because i wanted to show y'all this matches the lotions now this is how cuckoo and cray cray my dollar trees are now this right here been in the dollar tree right but this right here just got in there today so i don't know if it came at the same time like and then it was another piece to go to this. It was a lotion to go to this. And I didn't get that because I was like, I got tons and tons of lotions that I just got from Pop Shelf for 20, 30, 40 cents. I'm not getting ready to buy no more lotion. I Like I said, I only bought this for the sake of showing it to you guys and let you see 
that these two items go together and you can make a really, really nice um, basket, really, really nice basket with this. So I'm gonna just stick this in there. It's a tight little squeeze for this little basket, but that's good because I want it to be tight. That way I don't have to worry about my items shifting around. Which my items don't shift around anyway because most of the time I use shrink wrap. And even if I don't use shrink wrap, I don't have that problem because of the way that I put my items in there. Okay? So let's uh, play around with it a little bit till we get it where we want it. These cups, y'all, came in like a pack of eight from Hobby Lobby. And I think they are so cute. The design on them is so cute. And these little um, canvas bags, they came from Dollar General. I don't know. Some sale. I don't know what the sale was. Honey. It don't matter. It ain't in the store now. So it don't really matter to even tell you guys about that part. But I will tell you it came from Dollar General just in case you're wondering where it came from. This candle as well came from Dollar General. So Dollar General has some really high end and they're getting some really, really nice um, summer stuff in y'all. And it's going to be on clearance real soon. Well, not real soon, but you know to be on the lookout for it, okay? Because you know at the end of the summer, baby, it's got to go on sale. So go ahead and be scoping your stores out. That's how you learn what's going to be on sale because you go ahead and scope out what's red dot what's pink dot what's green dot so when you hear green dot on sale you kind of know the flow or the pattern of what to look for this is fall you know it's kind of color coordinated um with dollar general their colors are color core <laughs> color coordinated okay and listen i don't know if the individual i just read a comment right before i got on my video um asked where did i learn how to make gift baskets i taught myself okay i've been doing it for over 25 years and i taught myself and that's why i always let you guys know like it's such an honor and a privilege to have a mentor on facebook i mean well i'm on facebook too but a mentor on youtube because i didn't have that i had to teach myself and um a lot of stuff it took me years and years to learn you know what i'm saying i learned by trial and error but nine times out of ten if you are a creative person more than likely you can design baskets you can design flowers you may not be an expert at it but if you are an artistic person nine times out of ten you will um be able to do um most artistic things okay and i already see we're gonna have a little fight with these little items so this this basket baby i'm gonna tell you it's a little tight a little tight <laughs> we're gonna make it work but yeah so hopefully they're watching this video as well but yeah that's how i learned just by trial and error and i am an artistic creative person my original um my career path was that of a cosmetologist. I've always been an entrepreneur, but um, I went to school. I put it like that. I went to school for cosmetologists, for cosmetology, and I became a cosmetologist. Okay. Um, so you'll find that most people that know how to do hair, they just are creative people. And um, a lot of times in the black community, because we don't really know where to focus or channel our creativity, most of the time we'll go into, you'll find out that most creative people will go into the art of designing hair because it's like different things that we do with our hands, like knitting, quilting, um, sewing, designing, baking, all of that stuff is like... Um, we don't get pushed into those fields. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do hair, do hair. Um, so you'll find a lot of black girls that do hair, you know, um, but they have a lot of other artistic, creative abilities on the inside. And some of them, they may have not even unlocked yet. But um, I'm grateful to God that I was able to determine that I was not just a person that did hair. And y'all, I do not do hair anymore, Okay. My, I only got one customer, <laughs> and she only comes every blue moon. Um, 
and I only kept her because she's my sweetie pie that prophesied me onto YouTube. So she really got, you know, she's like, you stood with me for life. So I was like, okay. You know, what am I telling now? I can't tell her now. And she's um in her 70s, real sweet, sweet lady. So she said, I'm stuck with her, so I'm stuck with her. She said, I don't care where you move, I'm following you, and I'm coming to get my hair done. So I said, okay. But a lot of my clients have requested me to go back into the field, but this is not for me. It's not for me. Y'all, I think that's really, really cute. Um, video getting a little long, so I don't know if I'll be able to wrap this one up. And I need to put some shred, and I don't have mm, the color that I need is not here at the table. So we're gonna sit this one back, and we're gonna do this one because I already have the bow design for this one. This one right here, I'm just gonna use. I may make some polka dot with it. I'm not sure. But um, these are the two colors I'm going to use for this one. So I think it's going to come out super, super, super. I may even add, where is my gold? I may even add um, the same gold that I added in those back there. I may add that to these. So it's going to come out super, super cute, guys. Of course, I'll show it to you on another video. But let's go ahead and try to do this one real quick. I'm going to try to keep this video. Let's see if we can get it done in like a minute or so. So even if you didn't get these items from Top Shelf, all of these items can be duplicated from Dollar Tree. Because um, two of the items did come from Dollar Tree. Three including the basket. So... You can find a nice bar soap to match that. Um, they, they have these um, body washes in three different colors that I've seen. This one, it got a pretty pink one. I was tempted to buy it today. And I was like, girl, hey, this can't you just buy it. Too. And I very rarely do that. So I said, no, we're not going to buy that. Once I see how many baskets I got made and if I need some more inventory, I'll run out and pick some things up like that because y'all know that I always teach you guys about the um, the baskets, not the baskets, the bags. Um, always care what holiday it is. Have you some bags that you put together um, inexpensive and quick, okay? That's something when you're running out of time. Design time, bags, bags, bags. These same items. You ain't even got to put this many items. You can put a shower gel, um, a box of chocolates. You can throw one of these tumbles in there if you got them, you guys. You can put three or four items in a bag and call it a day. Y'all know that's like one of my big, big sellers is my bags. And I can make a $1,000 off of bags that I see inside the road. Y'all seen me do it. Um... I sit side of the road and make when it's getting really, really hectic and we running out of baskets, but I don't have time to go and design. Um, and keep in mind, you know, that my husband is deceased now. So, ooh, and I hate that word. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, ooh, I hate it. Mm. No, I ever want to use it again. That didn't strike me right. I ain't never said that. Mm. Anyway, let me get back on track. Anyway. Um, you know, I have to... I try to be there majority of the time with my kids now. But I did not sign up for this today. <laughs> I 
it's been a while. That's how greasy it is. It'll snatch you whenever it wants to. But anyway, I stay um with my children most of the time now. And before my husband um stayed there, so I was able to be home more and design while he was out selling. But now I try to, you know, like I said, I try to be there with them as much as possible. You know, they grown, but still, I know that they don't, you know, have the, they don't feel, you know, as secure being there by themselves, you know, versus when they were there helping their dad or, you know, if it was me there helping as well. But most of the time I was at home designing while they were out selling. So, it's been a little shift as far as that's concerned. So, I still make it work. And I still, you know, if I can't come home and design, then I'll, um, you know, just stay there. And these things right here is very, very dull. I want y'all to know that. Again, all I used to do was give them to him and let him sharpen them. He actually has a... a um blade sharpener in the barn but I don't even really go out there that much Ooh. real quick oh god sorry y'all sorry told y'all we read up honey when I come back off my trip and South Carolina has been postponed you guys to a further date it's quite a few of you wanted to come but you couldn't pull it off because of the time so I'm understanding of that I was already going to South Carolina anyway but I still will be there so if you guys want to meet me Saturday or Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m. at 600 Bluff Street, my son will be preaching and we will be glad to fellowship with you. Come as you are. As I mentioned before, you know, um, he's asked that people wear white, but if you don't have white, baby, come right on in because there's going to be plenty of people there without it. And it does not have to be dressy white, so... Whatever you're comfortable with. And I know the phone is probably shaking because my cord is connected right to... Um, it's sitting right next to my phone. So while I'm shaking it, I'm probably shaking the phone. And see, I'm getting ready to get really upset about this. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to redo it. This cup has kind of set up and I don't like that. I had it going to an angle like I got the this going to an angle. I know it's not that big of a deal y'all but I can be petty sometimes when I design. <laughs> I'm not going to take this one a little but I will be very very careful and mindful um, on the next go round. And I was going to put me a little rose there but I forgot. I'm in love with the Timu roses, y'all. I'm in love, okay? I'm in love. Y'all know I normally, um, I've used flowers for years, but I always use like the Dollar General flowers. I've never, you know, used these like foam flowers, but I like them because they don't, um, they don't mash in normally. So here is a cute Dollar Tree slash Dollar General basket y'all i hope you like this video if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe hit the bell so that each and every time i upload a video bam you will be the first to be notified get your money honey and fill your bag to the next video bye y'all